Hello. Hope everybody's doing good tonight, this evening. Um, I wanted to do a uh, short little video on showing you how to make slippers, is what you're looking at right here. <laughs> that I made one of. I gotta make another one, but I wanted to give you an idea of how I do it. I, I do it the easy way. I mean, to me, it's easier than doing it like some other people do it different. You know, they have where it has like a little strap that goes across your foot. They only go like part way till you get to where you're, you would start your heel and then they make like a little strap that you can fasten over, but, um, I'm going to do it the easy way because <laughs> to me, that's a little bit too confusing because you have to go back and forth and don't go backwards and then go frontwards again. And it's, to me, it's a little bit confusing. So I'm going to do it the simple way and simplify it a little bit. Um, and make it a little more simpler. Um, the size I have, um, is for my foot, which is a size nine wide, but whatever size your foot is, you know, you can, um, however many stitches you need, that depends on, um, the size of your foot. Mine was 10 stitches. You know, you do chain 10, um, you do your slip knot, of course, and then you chain 10 stitches, and that's for a nine wide. That's for my size foot. Um, you just chain 10, which I'll just demonstrate here real quick. Show you. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's the cross part. This is the cross part of my foot, like right across the top of it. Because I got wide feet. <laughs> I have wide feet, so I have to have a wide width shoe. Which for me, sometimes buying shoes is a little difficult. Because it's hard to find a shoe that's wide enough for my foot to fit comfortably inside of. Um, but once you get your chain 10, which is for the size 9, wide. Um, you wrap your yarn, your yarn around your hook to do a double crochet. And you go in the second chain from the hook, which you would have 9 stitches. Because you're not going to count the first one that's on your hook. And you're going to go in the second stitch. And then start your, um, if I can get both loops on here. And then start your, um, double crochets and just do one double crochet in each stitch across here until you get to the end. And then you just keep going. And I work it in rounds. I don't do it in, in, um, rows. I just work it in rounds so that when I get it to where it'll fit my foot because that's how I do mine. I just do it in rounds, and um, for me it's easier that way, and it fits snugger on my foot, I noticed. I made them the other way before, but they don't fit as snug on my foot when I make it the other way with where you had the strap going across your foot. For me it doesn't work, so I just use this method and go and work in rounds instead of trying to make a buckle to go across my foot, because for me it doesn't work. It doesn't fit as snug as what I've found. It fits snugger when you just work it in rounds and go all the way around. You know, just working it in rounds like you do with a hat or um or a beanie, like a beanie hat that you make when you're working in rounds. That's basically the same thing. Same kind of concept, anyways. So you go um. All the way across here until you get to your last little stitch there and then you put double crochet in your last stitch and then you just instead of chaining one and turning your work like you would normally do um at this point you just wrap your yarn around your hook and just keep working in rounds and i hide my tail at the same time so i don't have to worry about doing it at the end but you just keep going around you you start on the other side and just keep working in rounds and I hide my tail at the same time because I don't like to hide it at the end. It's, sometimes it's just harder to do it that way so I like to just crochet it in as I go so that it'll be hidden. I don't have to worry about it when I get to the end of my slipper but you get the idea of what I'm doing. I just wanted to finish this row real quick and show you just to give you an idea how you do it. I'll put the written pattern also in the description box of this video so that you can follow along with it. 
a little better, hopefully. Because I know some people have better visual. Now, to me, I'm a visual person. But some people like, they can read better. You know, they can read patterns better. But me, I'm visual. I like to see. It does me do, I do better with watching it. Instead, I, instead, oops, what am I doing? I'm chain of one. I'm so used to turning my work. <laughs> chain of one and turning my work and going the other way, working in rows. But no, this is round. So you just keep going until you get, you know, until it fits on your foot. And then you just keep on going, you know, until you can fit your whole foot in it and it fits up around your ankle, you know, to fit you snug. But that's how I do it. And I did, um, with this one, for my size foot, I did 23 rows. Um, from bottom to top, from here to all the way up to the, the end of it, I did 23 rows, and that would be for a size 9 wide. Now, it depends on your foot size and how many rows you'll do, but that's the size for mine, for my foot size. So, if you have a 9 wide, that'll fit. <laughs> but, hopefully you were able to follow along okay, and um, I'll put the... the, the um, written pattern in the description box also so that you can follow along with it that way too so it'll be a little easier for you I'll try to make it a little easier anyway but i hope you were able to follow along okay and um oh also i forgot one more thing i wanted to show you that i made actually for more of my paint skins i figured i'd do it all in one video <laughs> so i'm making separate ones i made some more necklaces with with um skins and actually i did a different method this time with my um painting I did it in the dustpan and I just let it dry in the dustpan the little small little dustpan I had I got creative oops I was gonna get it but it fell <laughs> oh lord um it's a small one you can use any size one this is just a small one that I used to use for my car to sweep my car out with but I used this one to put the paint in and then I poured it on the canvas from the dustpan and I let the um paint dry in it and then it, I peeled it out. It peeled out really easy. And I made these necklaces. Then I made this one. And um, I made four of them. I made that one, which is a darker one. I made this one. And I made that one, which I like too. I made this one. And I made this one. It looks like an eyeball. <laughs> to me, it does anyway. It looks like an eyeball. But I thought it was pretty cool. But these are the four I made um, for my paint skins. These right here. You can see them sometimes. I know my camera don't focus right, but I'm trying to get it to focus on these so you can see them. Okay, but these are the four I made. This looks like an eyeball to me. But I just wanted to show those to you real quick. The, one, the new ones that I made. But you can also make magnets like that. And I'm going to get another um, magnet set too and make some more magnets. And I'll probably make some earrings also. Because they got ones that you can make earrings also. So I'm probably going to make some of those. Order some of those um, soon and make some earrings out of the same type of thing. Except an earring instead of a necklace. But you can also make them in bracelets. I mean, you can make them in all kinds of things. There's different. I think they have ones for bracelets also. But I'm going to make earrings also to match the necklaces. I got some of those other skins left that I made from my other uh, previous necklaces that I made. The purple one and the um, green one and the other ones that I made. I got some of those skins left, so I'll probably make earrings to match. And it'll be like a match set. And I'll probably sell them as a match set with the earrings to go with it. Like, I'll show you, just in case you forgot the other ones I, should, I made or didn't see that video. But I made this one, and I got some more of these skins left, too, that I can make earrings with. And I got some of this skins left. It just got tangled that out of there. And I got this one. I got some more of those skins left. I can make earrings with that. And with this metallic silver and purple one, I got some more of those left. So I'm going to make some out of that one. Oops. And I got this other one here that I like a lot. I got some of these skins left too. So I'm going to make some earrings out of that to match the necklace. And I'll sell them as a match set. So you have the earrings and the necklace to match because I figured hey why not make some earrings to go with it because I thought I got extra skins and I already got magnets so I can really make if I wanted to a magnet set and an earring set in the necklace set so that's an idea too that I came up with so I'll see how that goes I'll just make them all to match that way <laughs> you have the earrings and the necklace set and the and the magnets but um I just wanted to show you these new ones that I made oops all tangled it up together 
it's moving back over here, but I hope that you were able to follow along okay with the slippers, and um, I hope that you like these necklaces also. I'll, I got those up for sale also, and I'll put the prices to them in the description box of the video, because I figured I'll start putting the prices to them in there so you know how much they are, but the necklaces are $10 each um, for those, and the earrings, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to figure that one out. But the magnets, I was trying to figure out, too, how to sell those in a set or how many to sell together. But I'm trying to figure that one out, too. But I will um, sell those in those vases. I remember um, showing those. But these, in case you forgot, I'll just show you this one that I made. The ones like this that are big will be about, probably about $10 each. And the smaller ones I'll probably sell for 5 But the bigger ones, like the one I just showed you in this one. The smaller ones like this will be five dollars but those bigger ones yeah the bigger ones will be ten and the little ones will be five but anywho i hope you're able to follow along okay with the crochet pattern and the necklaces and all that that i wanted to show in all in one video instead of doing several ones <laughs> i figured i'll just do it all in one and just show you everything oops also um before I forget, I want to tell you, I know I've probably mentioned this yarn before because I know I crocheted with it in one of my previous videos. But this is a um, four weight, I got it upside down. It's a four weight, medium four weight yarn and the recommended hook size is a five millimeter, but I used a six millimeter hook size for that. So, and it's, um, the color of it is pink, of course. I believe it's pink, that's what they call it, pink anyway, I guess. They got different names for them, but I'll just say it's pink because that's the color it is. It's pink, but you can use any color. It doesn't matter what color you use. I was going to use it, not, um, this other um, nylon yarn that I had, but I was having a hard time with it, so I just used the, the um, acrylic yarn. But anyway, until next time, I pray that y'all have a good evening, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.